This video is yoga to feel your best. Hi, my name is Jesse, and today we're going to go through a practice that can help you get to feeling really good if you've been feeling pretty shitty for a while, or even if you just need a little energy boost, whatever works best for you. One of the props that you may need today is a pillow. You wanna make sure that it's firm. The soft ones can be really nice, but make sure that it'll offer you some support because we're going to start off by sitting up tall and we're going to check in with our breathing. And if you are new to a yoga practice, you might need a little assistance sitting up tall. And this can be useful when you do yoga and also when you meditate. So you can just take this handy dandy pillow put it under your hips, come to a seat, and just get comfortable. Sit comfortably, sit naturally. Sometimes if we give our hips a little boost, it can help straighten our spine. Hi, Calico Works. And we just want to breathe deeply, breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the nose filling our stomach, diaphragm, and our chest. We want to take a moment to check in with our body. We're going to try and breathe into our belly, maybe placing our hands on our stomach if we're unfamiliar with belly breathing and just feeling our stomach gently rise and fall with each breath. And with each exhale, we're going to let go a little bit at a time, taking our awareness to our shoulders with our next exhale, breathing in through the nose. On the exhale, feel our shoulders relax and release. Inhale through the nose, filling up our stomach. Exhale, feel our back relax and release. Inhale through our nose. On our exhale, we can just feel our arms and our hands relax and release. Letting go of any tension that may be lodged in our body. Inhale through the nose, filling up the stomach. Inhaling through the nose, filling up the stomach, the diaphragm and the chest, trying to slow our breathing a little bit. Exhale, maybe exhale through our mouth this time. Feeling our legs relax and release. Inhale through the nose, filling up our belly. Exhale, relax and release. Feeling our feet relax and release this time. Just staying with the breath, being present, seeing if you might be able to pretend that there is a marionette string attached to the top of your head and just grab a hold of it and pull. See if you can straighten your spine a little bit more, activating your core, seeing up really tall, feeling your shoulder blades open up, slide down your back a little bit. It takes a little getting used to staying up tall, especially with our modern computer age society, but it is worth the effort. Good job. Just staying in Sukhasana easy pose. We're going to bring our left hand to the mat. We're going to try and keep our torso lined up with the long edge of the mat. We're just going to take our right hand up in the air and look off to the right side, just feeling a good deep side stretch, maybe bending 
that left arm to allow ourselves a little space to sink into the pose. Look off to the right side, that'll help you keep the chest open, bringing that left shoulder forward and the right shoulder back. Not collapsing the chest in. Good job. Drop that right hand down, switch sides. Lift the left arm up. Just look off to the left side, bending that right arm perhaps. Trying to bring the right shoulder forward and the left shoulder back to really touch the edge of the mat. Keep the sips nice and evenly distributed on the floor. Just checking in with our breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Slowly come back down. Good job. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring our arms up to the side. We're just going to turn to the right, bringing the left hand to the right knee, bringing that right hand back behind our hips. We're going to try and sit up tall. It can help by walking that right hand in really close to the spine. Sit up as well as you can. Gently turn to the right side, bringing that left shoulder forward and the right shoulder back. On the Breathing in. Good job. Staying with the breath. A couple more here. Honoring the body. You know what feels good here. Come back to center. Good job. Bring the arms out again. Helicopter. <laughs> Turn to the left, bringing that right hand to the left knee. Left hand comes back behind the hips. Walk that hand as close to the hips as you can get it. Sit up tall and just gently turn to the left side, trying to bring that right shoulder forward, the left shoulder back. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. <laughs> Sitting up tall on your in breath, engaging your core, just pulling your belly button into your spine, activating your lower bandhas. Good job. Just slowly bring yourself back to center. We're going to take your hands in front of us, staying in easy pose, Sukhasana, and we're just going to go into a nice gentle forward fold. Take the hands in front of you and walk it forward, being mindful that we're keeping our sit bones on the earth. Just slowly but surely come forward. Maybe you are not able to very far forward right now. That's okay. On your body, wherever you're at. Just stretch out and then relax and release into the pose. Just staying here for a moment. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Breathing comfortably and breathing naturally. Filling the stomach, diaphragm, and the chest. Maybe you can set your forehead on the mat, but don't worry about that. Worry about relaxing and releasing your shoulders. Good job. Walk your hands back towards you. Excellent. Turn to line up with the short edge of the mat now. And come to your hands and knees. 
Once we come to our hands and knees, we're going to do some nice gentle cat cows. We're going to center our hands under our shoulders, spread our fingers nice and wide, have our knees under our hips, look back behind us to make our feet disappear just to get into the habit of having good alignments. And we're going to push the mat away with the hands, roll the hips in, arch the spine, bring the chin to the chest. Inhale, come back up, lift the hips, slowly unroll the spine, lift the head. Engage the core, that'll protect your spine. Exhale, roll in. Inhale, come back up. Lift the hips. Push the mat away with the hands. If you want, you can play around with an internal rotation. Take your elbow creases, spin them in towards your belly button, and activate your legs too, doing an internal rotation with your inner thighs. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, roll in. This is perfect. I'm doing cat. Inhale, come back up. Good job. From here, we're just going to move from side to side. So turn the head and shoulders, look over the right side, drop the hips to the left side, come back. Good job. Just moving with the breath. If you're comfortable with it, you can make this a little more active where you tuck your toes under, reach back through your heels. Stomach, drop your hips to the left, drop your hips to the right, come up. Just go from side to side. Pretending that there's a rubber band on your side that snaps yourself up. Good job, just coming back to the side, take a wide stance with the knees, sink your hips down towards your heels, stretch your arms out, just go to child's pose. Rest your forehead on the mat, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. You can push your hands into the mat, push your hips towards your heels. Breathing comfortably and naturally. your hands back towards you. And then just stretch your the mat. Left leg bends. Activate your feet. Spread your toes out nice and wide. Pull your toes in towards Activating the three corners of the feet. And by that, I mean where the arch ends on your foot and then right over here. Press that left foot into the right foot or bring the heel up towards the hip crease. Bring your arms up either way, lengthen through the spine, just fold forward, reach towards the top. Maybe now you've realized that having your foot on your hip crease is a terrible idea. If that's so, just bring it down to your inner thigh. If it is on your hip crease, maybe an add-on for you would be to take that left hand, wrap it around your back, see if you can grab that big toe. You might be surprised. Just lift up your head so you're not rounding your spine. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Just stay with the breath. Good job come back up. 
switch sides, stretch out the left leg, bend the right leg. Working to spread your toes out nice and wide. And if you want, bring your heel up to your hip crease. Activate the foot. On the in-breath, bring the arms up to straighten the spine. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Fold forward, reach towards your toes. Have your toes pointed up towards the sky. And if you want, maybe try bringing that right arm. Odds are it's possible on one side, but not on the other. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Just let go, relax and release. Breathing in nice and deep. Lift your head up a little bit so we're not rounding the spine. Slowly come back. Stretch the legs out, ground through the heels, knees, and hips. Activate the feet, spreading the toes out nice and wide. On the in-breath, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, and from the head. Lift your head on the spine. Just do the best you can. Inhale through the nose, and exhale. Excellent work. And next we're just going to have our arms stretched along our sides. We're going to drop our legs down to the right side, turn our head to the left side. Make sure that right shoulder stays on the ground and just relax and release. Let the legs fall down to the left. Just letting go. Breathing into the stomach, exhale, relax, and release. Good job. Staying with our breath. Slowly bring your legs back up and you can switch sides. Just drop them down to the left side. Turn the Make sure both shoulders stay firmly planted on the ground. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Fill the stomach, diaphragm, and chest and see if you can slow your breathing a little bit. Good job. Slowly bring your legs back up. And then we're going to squeeze the knees into our chest. Just wrap your arms around your legs, pull them in, gently rock from side to side if that feels good. Good job. Take it easy. Squeeze the right leg in, stretch the left leg out, point the toes if that feels good. Just relax and release. With each exhale, switch sides, squeeze that left leg into the chest, stretch the right leg out. And then we're going to stretch out on our mat or Shavasana, the final relaxation. Really taking some time to stay with Shavasana today, finding five things that we're grateful for. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Breathe in for a four count, exhale for a six count. Taking it slow, taking it easy. Again, breathe in for a four count, breathe into the stomach. Exhale for a six count. 
Good job. Just staying with the breath, returning your thoughts to your breath over and over again whenever they wander off. And now we're going to breathe in for a four count, exhale for an eight count. Just bringing your awareness back to your breath over and over again. Feeling your whole body relax and release on your exhale. Good job. Inhale for a four count, exhale for an eight count one more time. Excellent job. Now sit up. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, make sure you hit the little bell notification so that the videos that I make pop up automatically on your feed, otherwise you won't see them. You can check me out on Instagram as well and see more of my day-to-day -day life. I really hope you love this video. Until next time, my friends, may love and light be yours. Namaste. Yoga cat, yoga cat, do whatever yoga cat can.